Today we're going to talk about seven Blender courses that can help you create different types of environments, whether it be forests, deserts, ruins, sci-fi environments, and even space stuff. Number seven, creating a stylized 3D forest environment. This is a refreshing Blender course from CG Cookie that will give you a short break from realism. It will teach you how to create cool looking stylized 3D forests in Blender. During this course, you will learn how to create low poly models of natural assets, generating plant centuries with sampling add on, in addition to creating grass with particles. And as you make more progress, you will learn how to use textures, lighting, and rendering with Blender's real time render engine Eevee. This Blender course is great for beginners because it does not require a lot of skills, and all the steps are relatively easier compared to creating realistic environments since the expectations are lower and everything usually doesn't need complicated and realistic environments. If you haven't created something stylized before, or if you want to learn new things about this, then this might be your chance. Number 6. Space VFX Elements this is one of the most impressive Blender courses out there about creating space environments, but unfortunately, it was made using Blender 2.79 because it is about 3 years old. However, you will learn how to create different kinds of planets, such as rocky planets, gas planets, and advanced multilayer planets with atmospheres, in addition to planet close-ups that show a ton of details. You will also learn how to create and render asteroids and asteroid fields, which is common in space shots. This course is about 20 hours long, so you will learn a lot of other things such as how to create comets, black holes, gas clouds, procedural space panoramas, and more. And you will learn how to do this using two different workflows, procedural and image-based. Number 5. Creating Procedural Sand Dunes this is another course from CG Cookie that will teach you how to create believable sand dunes in Blender. And the great thing is, you don't have to create millions of polygons to achieve this. You will only need to work with four different things. A mesh plane, high dynamic range images, cameras, and materials. This course will teach you how to create procedural texture displacements using Blender's node system. Also adaptive subdivision, in addition to compositing throughout which you will do some post-processing after the render process to have something more believable. If you want to think outside of the box, work faster and smarter, then you will find a lot of things interesting about this course. Number 4. Ancient Ruins Game Environment in Blender this is a course in which you will learn how to create ancient ruins for game environments using Blender, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. You will learn how to create modular assets using Blender, create correct UV and wrapping inside of Blender, in addition to creating practical real-world shaders, and you will learn how to produce materials with mask blending and parallax mapping, and then you will export everything to Unreal Engine and learn many other skills. This is not the most advanced course and it isn't the most impressive either, but it is a good way to learn how to do things the right way according to a professional industry standard workflow. Because the instructor actually works for Ubisoft and I am sure you will learn valuable lessons from him. Number 3. Real-time Environment Design in Blender This is a 4-hour crash course on how to use the Blender's EV for real-time environment design. This will allow you to create similar scenes to those that were used in Star Wars The Mandalorian TV show. In fact, the instructor of this course worked on The Mandalorian. This course is suitable for both experienced Blender users and for those artists making the first steps. Generally speaking, this will allow you to learn a ton of skills on how to use mega scans, texture blending, using decals, color maps, in addition to how to create and set up desert scenes with realistic skies, lighting, shadows, and physical atmospheres. You will also learn how to paint grass, create volumetric fog, and how to use cameras and animate them in your scene. Finally, you will learn how to become better at setting up a final scene, specifically a sunset scene and a night scene. Number 2. A to Z Environment Design Using Trim Sheets this is a completely comprehensive course from two great Blender artists covering everything you need to know about how to use trim sheets, in addition to how to implement them to create fantastic game environments using the methods used in big budget projects. In my opinion, what this course offers is way more than you're gonna pay for, because it includes a ton of valuable resources, information, and excellent training. It is great for aspiring game artists, environment artists, and general 3D artists, in addition to sci-fi hard surface enthusiasts in general, even if they are beginners. 
In this course, you will get six ready to use trim sheets. In addition to that, the instructors will show you how to create your own trim sheets to be able to use them on your projects during different stages of production. Using trim sheets in your projects will allow you to save a ton of time, resources, and money. And the great thing is, it looks just as great as if you are using millions of polygons. Overall, this course is a lifesaver, and I highly recommend it. Number one, creating 3D environments. This is actually a great 3D environment design course in Blender because it will show you how to create complex natural environments starting from scratch with all the necessary steps throughout the process. First of all, you will learn about Blender's interface and how you can make your first steps in Blender. And slowly you will build your way to building objects, for example, you will learn how to create these dice here. After that, you will start learning how to mix textures in Blender. This will allow you to apply materials to a ruined wall, for example, and build your first environment scene. You will also model grass, add water, and learn how to render the whole thing. Then you will build a farmhouse in a medieval style. During the process, you will use the workbench for modeling, even for the texture work, and cycles to render the scene to get the maximum out of it. Then you will merge the building with the natural environment after creating trees with a sampling add-on without using any commercial add-ons. And finally, you will use all the different assets you created and the techniques you learned before to create the final castle project. It is kind of a summary to all the skills and stuff you learned before on this course. If you are interested in one of these courses, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.